and one has started ho her own covert coven and I think that that's going to be the the most interesting friend uh, wakes up to find someone else trying to harness his magic over his body like a rat I need feeling like you want me and I guess in a way you do I'm a diamond, not a piece of glass Break my heart, you can kiss my ass Walk away like I never knew ya Got a new man, what to do ya I'm a diamond Peace everybody, welcome back to my channel My name is Aaliyah Zealous And today to do a better job at inter introducing myself. I am a dark fantasy and science fiction author. If you're interested in any of my work, the links will be in the description box below. But today I am showing you guys the books that I can't wait to read for this fall. I have my computer right here to keep notes because this is where my notes are for everything. So the bo first book that I can't wait to read is Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. So I already have this book on my uh, Kindle right now. So as soon as I get some of my regular work done, I'm going to dive right into it. I'm super excited about it, especially since it was marketed as being reminiscent of The Night Circus, which I did read and I absolutely enjoyed it. I loved the story. I loved the the ambiance of it I guess you could call it that I love the uh, the atmosphere that was presented in the book I thought it was a really great concept um, so if this book is anything like that one I'm definitely going to enjoy it the synopsis of this book was stating that it's a whimsical enchanting and expansive hotel that two siblings go to work at only to find out that their contracts are actually unbreakable and the hotel is hiding some dark secrets so the one of the main characters she wants to save her little sister and the staff from the cruelty of this magical hotel and that really caught my eye i thought that was just a very interesting concept to read um very in line with spooky season with those dark and mysterious vibes so i was all for it oh so the next book that i have on my tbr list is her majesty's royal coven by juno dawson so when I saw this book, first off, the title just screams something that I would like to read, like a, a royal coven, like that's just, to me that just brings about a really great visual in and of itself. I was drawn to this book, so I did see a couple of reviews on this book on Goodreads that weren't that favorable of the story, and sometimes this is why I have a love-hate relationship with reviews, because one do think that they can be helpful in a sense if somebody else's taste in books are in alignment with yours but if somebody else's taste in books aren't in alignment with yours and they just don't like the concept or they don't like the book or they don't like how it was executed um, or how it was written the style that it was written sometimes their ratings could not really be an accurate representation of if you yourself will enjoy the book. So I have a love-hate relationship with reading reviews when I see a book that is interesting. Um, I want to know if it will be a good book but at the same time I don't want to be turned off from the book before I get a chance to dive into it and see for myself if I actually like the book. So I did a little bit of research for this book. I saw a couple of reviews it was very it was a little bit flip floppity but I'm still gonna read it I'm excited to read it anyway just to form my own thoughts and opinions about it the synopsis for this book is a group of childhood friends that discover that they are witches relatable they take an oath to join the Queen's covert government department called Her Majesty's Royal Coven <laughs> there's supposed to be a civil war and all hell breaks loose and now the group of childhood friends are dispersed. Um, they're no longer together. One's pretending to be like a normal housewife. One is using her powers to heal animals as like a, a veterinarian or something like that. And one has started ho her own covert coven. And I think that that's going to be the, the most interesting friend. I'm excited to see what goes on with that relationship. Um, it's 
presented as supposed to be like the biggest betrayal that one of her friends has done is starting her own covert coven so I'm interested to see what the relationship dynamics are with that. To top it all off, a young warlock is captured and threatened and threatens the entire existence of Her Majesty's Royal Coven and now the girls are fighting. Like I said, I saw some iffy reviews that made me hesitant but I'm still excited. Just the concept of it, I'm still excited to read it. The next book that I have on my TBR list is Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Tors. Emma Tors. I hope I'm saying that last name right. Um, again, Ink Blood Sister Scribe. It, it gives me the same vibes as Her Majesty's Royal Coven. It sounds like it just stands for everything that I would love in a book, especially for the fall. So the synopsis for this book is a family has been tasked to guard a collection of rare and magical books that give you powers. Mm. And two sisters have been raised to protect it. Uh, for years they've been separated. One of the sisters uh, kind of fled to escape the fate that I guess killed her mother <laughs> or killed their mother and the other one has locked herself into the family home and dedicated herself to studying these magical books. Then suddenly their father dies while reading a book the sisters ain't never seen before. So the sisters, they come back together to uncover this world of big magic and danger and secrets that their parents had been hiding um, that expands through continents, countries, and even different libraries. More magical libraries with magical books exciting that also gives me the vibe of um dang i can't even remember it's it's one book that i read one fall and it had like the the b the the key and it had and it was a secret library I, I can't remember what it is if i remember what it is then i'll put it in the in the video somewhere but it also gives me that same vibe and i like that book too so if this is reminiscent of that book i'm going to enjoy it the other book that I have saved on my TBR to read this fall is Witch King by Martha Wells. As you see, there's a little bit of a theme to these books, you know, witches, covens, all that good stuff. After being murdered, the boy Kai, who is one of the main characters in the book, uh, wakes up to find someone else trying to harness his magic over his body like a rat. He is trapped in some water trap and he needs to answer all of these questions as to why he was trapped, uh, what went down since his assassination, and something about a world coalition. So it sounds very complex, sounds very intricate. I'm excited to dig my teeth into that story. And then the last book that I have on my TBR list for this fall, and I only have my TBR list is way bigger than this. <laughs> I do have like a whole section in my journal dedicated to what I'm going to read, but I've been so busy with life and I don't even know if I'm going to get to these five books, but you know, you plan and you hope. The last book on my TBR list to read for this fall is Night's Edge by Liz Karen. So this book is about a girl named Mia or Maya who grew up taking care of her mom because her mom harbors some terrible secret. A secret about drinking blood. So my guess is I think that her mom is a vampire, which is crazy. And it's even crazier because the description is kind of making it seem like the daughter isn't a vampire. So interesting dynamics. Follow Mia as she grows up and meets a new friend and feels this is her only chance at a normal life and to escape from her mother presumably alive so i thought that that was very interesting i don't i can't remember the last i do remember the last time i read a vampire story it i think it was last year it had to be last year i read king of battle and blood um i actually have a review of that book here on my channel as well i enjoyed that book but that was more so of a romance fantasy this doesn't sound like it's going to be a romance fantasy it just sounds like it's going to be a bomb book so I'm excited to read this and then just for fun because I do like to incorporate um, some books that are not fiction some non-fiction books into my list I do have the courage to be happy by Achiro Kashimi and Fumataki Koga on here uh, so I've read the courage to be disliked absolutely love that book 
I think everyone should read that book, especially if you um, struggle with things like um, confidence and purpose and learning how to be happy and stuff like that and this is the accompaniment to to that book the courage to be happy um, so i'm excited to read this because i loved the courage to be disliked and if this is anything like that one which i'm sure that it is it's going to be a bomb read as well so i will will probably pick that up and read that as a break in between a lot of my fiction books so so that is my tbr list for this fall i can't wait to dive deeper into these stories um, and hopefully they more than meet my expectations for a good juicy fantasy story for the fall so don't be surprised if you see the, any of these books featured in any of my videos in the future but thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye